I realized that when I woke up this morning, I did not say one nice thing about myself. I obviously looked in the mirror multiple times and every single time I walked by, I said something really rude. Well, why do we allow us to say that to our own selves? Like we would never say that to anybody else, but why do we let ourselves be so mean to ourselves, you know? Someone has to have had convinced you that you are not good enough for you to feel that way. And I think that even if we don't tell them directly, if we subconsciously say it about ourselves all the time, then that language is gonna pick up and that, that same attitude is gonna pick up. I've seen that where a mom is constantly saying like, oh my gosh, I get my arm fat, oh my gosh, I get my face. And they just say it out loud. And then and this kid who's not even at an age to register those things, start seeing those faults in their own self. And they start saying, oh my gosh, look at my belly. Oh my gosh, look at my legs. And it's only because they're adopting that same behavior from their moms. And I noticed today that the, like not even one time I said something nice to my own self. So I feel like I need to start figuring out a method of actually being kind to myself as if I were to be kind to other people. What if we could plan it out? Cabo for a week. Pass for a day. Oh, we we taking the dog to get a little exercise but I thought I'd put on a little lip because it always makes me feel a little better and I'm going to actively try to say nice things when I see myself so hey your lips look nice you have a great full ponytail and you look so cool in your little sunnies and your little earrings you're just, you're doing a good job. Yeah, still on my own, yeah. I'm a soldier, I fight for what's right, so my heart's just been fighting for you. What more can I do? I just want to put you in a box, like so. Keep you to myself, you know I don't want to share no options. If I finally tell the truth, then I'm telling it to you. What if we could plan it out, cover for a week? Fast for a day, wee oui, wee. Oui. You can come and be my babe, you can see. What a gentleman I am, yeah. What if we could plan it out? Party in the streets, like the golden days at the beach. Family buzzing in my air like a bee. Maybe you could chill. I'm young, Hazeo. Shout to you, beneficent for real. Tell me how it feel to be the one I meet. Only need a week with you, baby. So bad, I cannot speak. Shawty, where you been at? I wish I'd known you sooner, so we hit the mat like judo. But I guess it's all okay though, cause we jumping on a plane. You a starless to some pesos on my mind, like I'm insane. You my babe, we can go wherever you want. I got lemon in my water, and these ropes that you got on make me feel like I'm the man, but I can't wait to put you on. We could kick it with this four course meal, and this nice red wine. Don't hold it all inside. You my number one. you a really simple way to make iced coffee with instant coffee. Fill your cup with ice. I do like one spoon of instant coffee into warm water and dissolve. I'm gonna add a little splash of sugar-free vanilla syrup. We'll top this with some milk. 
pour in your coffee. It is strong. Now, iced coffee is just one of those things that instantly helps me make me feel better. This is the Sika Pear Color Correcting Treatment. I really like this. It works as a really good natural base. I was listening to a podcast the other day. He was saying there's no way that we can just instantly change our thoughts. And so for us to be able to change our thoughts, we have to change our actions first. And for me to get to the point to where I can change the way that I think, I have to change the way that I feel and the way that I, changing the way that I feel will be by changing the things that I do. So I'm going to try to start actively trying to compliment myself. Every time I looked in the mirror, I refused to consume negative thoughts. This is like a little glotion, a L'Oreal glotion. I wish this had SPF, but it does not. One of the things that I've been trying to do lately is figure out why I feel the way that I do. I saw this on a TikTok, but basically it's like, if you have a negative thought, right? You're, you say, oh my gosh, I hate the way that I look today. And then you go, why? Why do you hate the way that you look today? And then you say, because it doesn't make me feel good. Why? Because I don't like the way that I look in it. Why? Because I don't like the way that my body is. Why? And then you just keep going down all the way down to why and then it ends up being like, you're just like, why? And then you're like, I don't know. There's no reason. And so it kind of, it puts into this perspective how we just have a, a never ending trail of thought that eventually leads us to believe certain things about ourselves when no one else put that thought in there except for you.